I'm going to talk about a comparison of some green oxidation methods we uh, performed in our sophomore organic chemistry lab this year. Our students, uh, as part of a natural product synthesis, um, they use an uh, Grignard reaction to make 2-methyl-4-heptanol right here. And then the next week in lab, they use an oxidation to oxidize that secondary alcohol to the ketone. In the past, we've used um, chromium reagents, chromium-6, to oxidize alcohols. It's traditionally uh, the method of choice. Um, but chromium-6 is carcinogenic, so greener methods have been developed out there, and uh, some of them we've tried. Um, the ones that are out there available are peroxide, sodium tungstenate, copper sulfate, and potassium permanganate. Um, we've been doing bleach and acetic acid for years, and the one we tried this year to compare was oxone and sodium chloride. So all those are oxidizing reagents. In two labs that I ran this semester, half of the students, um, about six pairs of students, ran a traditional oxidation of the alcohol with bleach and acetic acid, while the other half, another six pairs, ran this, an oxidation of the same alcohol with oxone, which is a persulfate salt of potassium and sodium chloride in the flacetate water. Um, I, my students have a little trouble in between sections, um, so I modified the workup procedure of the oxone reaction. So you'll see the results of their test. The first lab, uh, the students that ran the bleach acetic acid oxidation, um, about 50% of their alcohol was oxidized. Um, and they had some variability between the amount oxidized, about 40 to 50% of, this, of uh, the alcohol was oxidized to ketones. We analyzed this by GC. Um, in the first lab, the students that ran the oxone reaction got anywhere between 50 and 90% of the alcohol oxidized, and it averaged uh, close to 90% oxidation. So the first lab, there was, the oxone had better success in converting the alcohol to the ketone. In lab two, after we modified the procedure a little bit um, in the oxone reaction, we got mm, similar ranges in the bleach acetic acid reaction, a little bit higher overall percent oxidation, um, but this isn't anything different than I've seen in that lab in the last few years. Um, but much better uh, conversion of the alcohol to the ketone using the oxone reagent. And a smaller range, so all students uh, really had a great deal of success using the oxone in the lab, in the second lab, after we modified the procedure. So we can say using these two labs uh, data that the, um, the more complete oxidation occurred with the oxone reagent and uh, not the bleach and acetic acid. And based on my experience running this reaction for the last few years, the oxone had a lot less variability in the student yields and percent oxidation than the bleach. And, uh, it was a lot easier workup for the students. They enjoyed it. Those, we've run the bleach acetic acid oxidation as an example of a green oxidation for these students as opposed to using a chromium-6 reagent, um, but um, we decided to compare this to another green system, the oxone and sodium chloride. Um, both of these have relatively inert reactants, uh, the oxone being a very inexpensive potassium sulfate salt and the bleach being usually commercial or household bleach used. And the byproducts are very inert. So I think um, in terms of green attributes, as far as the reactants and the byproducts, they compare very straightforwardly. In the workup, uh, the bleach acetic acid uses a substantial amount of dichloromethane in the workup. Um, the workup of the oxone reaction uses just ethyl acetate. And it's not any additional ethyl acetate other than the small amount of ethyl acetate the reactions run in. So overall, uses much less organic solvent and a, I think, a less, less toxic organic solvent is used in the oxone reaction than the bleach and acetic acid. So I would, I would say the oxone's a little bit greener of a reaction. Um, and so that's what I'd like to conclude with. I think we'll probably compare these for a while just so the students can see variability between green methods, but the oxone's definitely a better method.